is fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number 1, Integers, question number 11 to 20 of SOF International's Mathematics Olympiad. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one. Section Mathematical Reasoning, question number 11. The value of x in minus 19 multiplied by in bracket 4 plus another bracket minus 2 equals to minus 19 into 4 plus minus 19 into x. Now normally average student will do first remove this bracket 4 plus minus 2 means that is plus 2 and then it will my multiply with minus. So it becomes minus 38. Then here it is minus 19 into 4 that is 76 minus then plus minus 19x and then this is equal sign. Then find out the x <clears throat> and x will be minus 2. This is what every student will do. We will not do that. See, if you can see the equation here and if you know the distributed property, so this is nothing but minus 19 into in bracket 4 plus in bracket minus 2 equals to. If I take minus 19 common, <clears throat> so in bracket it is 4 plus x so minus 19 minus 19 get cancelled therefore x equals to if you compare this x will equals to minus 2 so answer is d don't do this way correct the first one this is for the average student not for us we are smarter next what will be the sign of result if we together add 199 negative integers. So it's an addition. And all 199 are negative integers. Whether it's a 2 or 200 or 300 or any odd or even numbers. Whenever we add negative integers, we will get answer is whatever the answer will be. That will be always negative. Correct? If it is a multiplication, then the answer would be different. Then we have to think of the sign. But if it is a addition between the same sign, then the result will be the sign of the integers. Next. A collection of numbers which contains all positive numbers, all negative numbers and zero is known as so it's a negative number, 0 and all positive numbers. That is nothing but integers. So see, these positive numbers are natural. Natural number plus 0 whole. And again negative in numbers, then this is known as a integers. That's what we have discussed. Next, which pair of number does not have a product equal to 36? So let's see the options. Minus 4, minus 9. So both negative sign. Therefore, the product has a positive sign. So 36. So this has equal is 36. Therefore, this is not the answer. Minus 3 minus 12. 12 3 are 36 and both are minus. So sign is plus. So equal 36. This is not the answer. Minus 1 into 72. Even the product is 72. It's not equal to 36. So this is the our answer. And sign will be plus. Let's see D. So 1 into 36, 36. So this is equals to 36, not the answer. So our answer is C. Next, 
which of the following options shows the integers arranged in descending order descending order means the largest one is first and the smallest one is last that's the descending order so let's see the options minus 43 minus 37 so this one is small this one is large so this is in ascending side so not in the descending one so not the answer minus 43 minus 12 again ascending one so not the answer let's see for c1 18 that is the largest large 6 smaller one 0 another smaller one minus 1 another smaller one minus 37 is smaller than the minus 12 and minus 43 is the smallest so c is the answer let's check for d 18 larger 6 smaller smaller again smaller but this is greater than minus 43 so it is not in the order so not the answer next which of the following is true for the given expression 4 multiplied by minus 5 negative 5 so 4 multiplied by negative 5 so it's a multiplication so let's see the options it's a 4 jumps of 5 units to the left of 0 so this will be written as 4 into minus 5 so answer is a however let's check for other options 5 jumps 5 jumps 3 units so 3 units to the left left means it's a minus from 0 so 5 multiplied by minus 3 it is 4 into minus 5 so b is not the answer go for c 4 jumps of 5 units to the right so 4 jumps 5 units to the right so it's a positive sign and the answer will be 20 here answer will be minus 20 so it will be the left of the zero this is right of the zero therefore this is not the answer none of this none of this not the options already we got the answer a let's go for next the additive identity of minus 28 plus 12 plus 48 minus 63 now when there is an additive identity identity means it's the same number whenever we add it's an additive. So whenever we add a particular number in any number, the answer should be the same number. That is any number only. Say A is the number. If we add some additive identity, we should get the answer A. So additive identity is 0. That's what we know. And multiplicative identity is 1. So whether it's a number of you know terms, separated by some plus or minus sign the ultimately final answer will be some some number and when we add zero in that the num answer will be the same number therefore additive identity is zero so answer is a next if a and b are integers a is not equals to b then which of the following is incorrect Option number A, A plus B equals to B plus A. Yes, it's correct. So this is not the answer. A minus B equals to B minus A. No, it's it can't. Say 5 minus 3 equals to 2. We can't do 3 minus 5. It is minus 2. It becomes negative integer. So therefore, our answer is B. No need to go for C and D. Let's check just for understanding. A plus 0 equals to 0. Obviously. Uh, a plus 0 equals to 0 plus a not obviously so a plus 0 equals to 0 plus a equals to a correct a multiplied by 0 equals to 0 here a minus 0 equals to a correct which which is not equals to 0 minus a correct that is what here so c and d is not the answer answer is b next Everyday mathematics sections question number 19. In a test, four marks are given for every correct answer. 
and minus two marks for every incorrect answer. So there is a negative marking. If you do wrong answer, you will be penalty, punished. So two marks punished. That means minus two marks. Minus two awarded. Or I will say two marks will be penalized. Deducted. Something like that. Asa answered. Where is Asa? Asa answered all the questions and scored 26 marks. Though she got nine correct marks. Varun also answered all the questions and scored two marks. Though he got five correct answers. How many questions did each answer incorrectly? So we have to find out the number of incorrect answer by Asha as well as Varun. So first let's talk about Asha. Asha, how many score, how many correct answer? Score is 26. That's the score. And 9 was the correct answer. So that means C is supposed to get 9 into 4, 36 marks. If there is no negative marking, if there is no penalty for incorrect answer. But unfortunately, C got 26 marks. That means 10 marks has been deducted. And every question, there were 2 marks deducted. Therefore, C gave 5 incorrect answer. That is by ASA. And if you see here, option 10, so out, A is not. Here 9, so B is not the answer. Here 5, so C is the answer. Here it is 4. If it is 5, then C is not the answer then. But here it is 4. So D is not the answer. So only C, no need to check for Varun. However, if you want to calculate, we can calculate. For Varun, score is 2 marks. How many correct marks? How many correct answer? He got 5 correct answers. So 5 into 4, supposed to be 20 marks. Rather than 20, he got 2 marks. That means 18 marks have been deducted. That means if I divide by 2, 9 is the incorrect answer. Therefore, it is 9. Correct? Next. Ankus got rupees 500 on his birthday. On the next day, he got rupees 350 as pocket money from his father and spent rupees 275 on repairing his cycle. Next day, his sister gave him 170 as a reward. Now, how much money would he have? It's a very simple numerical. It's a just addition, subtractions. So initially, Ankus had 500 rupees. Next day, he got 350 as a pocket money. So just add from his father, then spend 275. So deduct. And next day, his sister gave him 170. So add. And if you just simplify, you will get the answer. Say 500 plus 350. So 850 minus 275 plus 170. So 275 minus 170. Let's take the difference. So it is 1 then 0, 5. Now deduct. Sign will be minus. So this much rupees. So rupees 850 minus 105. So that means it is 5, 4, 7. So rupees 745. That means option A. That's all about the solutions of question number 11 to 20. Chapter number 1. Integers of SOF Internationals Mathematics Olympiad. Once again, myself, Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithalamacademy at the rate gmail.com. That is V-I-T-T-H-A-L-M-A-C-A-D-A-M-Y at the rate gmail.com. So thank you and wish you all the best.